Camp Stepping Stones is a weekend long camp for kids ages 6 to 12 who have had someone significant in their life die. The goals that we focus on at Stepping Stones are to normalize the experience of loss and let kids know that they're not alone in this. We want them to find ways to express their feelings, learn coping tools, and just have some fun. I came to camp because I decided that it would be a great experience to meet new friends and share the same because we all lost somebody and we know all how it feels like to lose somebody. I'm Natalie and I'm here in memory of my mom. I'm Bailey and I'm Being around people that have lost family members or loved ones that are really close to them, it's just good to know that you're not the only person. We've got Aiden who's here for his mom. We've got Damien who's here for his dad. One of my favorite activities at camp is cabin time because everybody tells their stories from who they lost and shares all their memories about them. We have volunteers as young as 15 all the way up to age 70. We've seen campers come back and volunteer on our setup crew or as an activity leader or a camp counselor. Oftentimes I feel they get as much out of volunteering at the camp as the kids that receive it. I came to the camp a few years ago. I had lost my grandpa and it helped a lot and I wanted to be a part of it. I think whenever you lose someone and they're particularly close to you, it kind of takes over your whole life. Everything seems harder because you don't have that person there to help you. So when you come to camp and you have the counselors and everyone by your side doing everything with you, it makes you feel less alone and it gives you something fun to do rather than be sad all the time. I volunteer at camp because I was that seven-year-old kid who lost a parent and I wish I would have had something like this for me when I was seven years old because I think it would have made all the difference in the world. Cabin Buddy, we have to wear a lot of different hats. I think our main role is just to be friends with the kids, you know, hang out, make sure everyone's having fun, everyone's safe and having a good time. Also doing some of the things that maybe are a little bit more difficult for them to get into, but making sure that they know it's worth putting in the effort and helping them through it. I do this because when I was 18, I lost my dad. So I can firsthand understand how it impacts the kids. So I want to play a part in that. My name is Antoine and I'm here for my mother. My name is Van and I'm here for my dad. My name is Kevin and I'm here for my dad. My name is Justin and I'm here for my sister. My name is Nicky and I'm here for my dad. My name is Carter, I'm here for my brother. I was here 15 years ago as a camper myself. I had lost my sister to a brain tumor and camp was monumental for me. It was a way for me to learn how to express my emotions as a six-year-old when no six-year-old knows how to do that. I don't think I'd be who I am today without this camp, so I love coming back and being a buddy and sharing it with the newbies. It's awesome. My name's Khalil, and I lost my father. The stepping stone I learned at camp this year is the butterfly hug. The butterfly, you give yourself a hug and you just pat. One of our main activities that we do at camp is a stepping stones activity. We talk about stepping stones here in terms of stepping stones they can use in life to get through hard times, and then they get to create a stepping stone out of cement and glass pieces of all kinds of shapes and sizes and colors in memory of that person who died. I still have my stepping stone and it's in the shape of a heart because my dad was a doctor and I loved him. I always thought that was really cool that I had like a double meaning to my stone. Wish Sticks is another activity that we do here at Stepping Stones Camp where campers talk with us about their wishes and hopes and dreams and how it feels when those things come true and how it feels when they don't come true. 
And if you had a wish that you might have for the person that died, your loved one, and then if you had a wish for your family or the world, the Memory Gallery is often one of the most special activities of the weekend. Every camper is asked to bring a photo of the person who died, and they have a chance in the Memory Gallery to create something to be displayed. What do you miss most about your dad? The jokes. The jokes? Is he funny? <laughs> we display them on shelves for the rest of the weekend for all the campers to see and all the families when they come for our closing on Sunday. Throughout the years, we found new ways to add music into camp. And we have a crew of music therapists and music therapy students that come out and help the campers create a song that's full of memories of the people that they've lost. And they perform the song for the campers on Saturday night leading into our Walk of Remembrance and Boat Ceremony. The Walk of Remembrance is just a quiet time for each cabin group to get together and process a little bit and connect the dots of all the activities that they've done throughout the weekend. They stop at some stations along the way to have different conversations and then that ends at our boat ceremony where each camper has painted a boat and decorated a sail in memory of their loved one. And they have a chance to have a quiet moment again to say a symbolic goodbye, blow a wish or a hope into the sail, and just pause together to remember and honor those people. I'm always amazed each year at the transformation that I see in the campers from Friday when they come with those nerves and the anxiety and the questions and wondering to Sunday when they leave and they just seem a little lighter. They seem a little more re-energized and ready to go back to day-to-day -to -day life with a pocket full of tools that we've shared with them and taught them of how to deal with their grief in a new and different way.